how you guys doing? I hope you feel better. I know you're out sick today. Today we're going to talk about sounding out words, okay? The first word we're going to work with is a word that I like to start with, and the word is this word, okay? So how do we sound this out? Well, we know our letters, and we know that the C, which is clever cat, makes a K sound. We know that A, any apple, makes the A sound. And we know that the T, talking test, makes a T sound. So we're going to try to sound this out. We're going to stretch those sounds out so that we can read the word. And we have three sounds that we want to say. I'm going to use these lights to help us out. Alright, so the first letter is K, A, T. So let's sound it out again. K, A, T. Let's say it a little bit faster. K, A, T. Say it faster. Cat. So real fast. Cat. Alright, that's how you sound out a word. Now, a lot of you guys already know cat is a very easy word to sound out, so let's look at a different word to see if we can use the same strategy to blend our sounds together. We'll reset everything, and what I'm going to do is just change the letter to bouncy Ben, or a B sound. Um, when we look at this word, we can look at it and see that we already know that this is at, at. So what we could do is we could just say that first sound, b, at, b, at. You say it real fast and go, bat, bat. But let's break it up and sound each sound out. Ready? B, at. When we break up those sounds, it helps us with our writing as well. So that if we ever wanted to write the word bat, we could say bat, b, b, a, a, t, t, bat. And that way we could figure it out and write it that way. Let's try one. Let's do this word right here. I'm going to do the word set. Alright, so let's break it up and go s a t s a t. Say it fast. Set. Alright. Now let's do one that we haven't done before that rhymes with sat and bat and cat. Because we know those are at words. That's at. Hmm. What's something that you wear on your head? What's that called? Uh, hat. Hat. So then we would put Harry Hatman up in there. Say hat. But you're like, oh, Mr. Servany, but what if I really like to things that go fast? And I don't know how to spell that word. And I'm like, oh, what word would you like to try to spell out? And, and maybe we could sound it out and figure out how to spell it. And I'm thinking of the word jet. So we got jet. Jet. So j, 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 j. What makes the... Oh, jump, jumping gym. So we'll do jumping gym. J, jet, jet. All right, I got j, et, t. I know the last sound is talking test, so I'm gonna put a t there. Um, jet, eh, eh. Oh, oh, that's Eddie Elephant. So. That's the word jet. Okay, so um, now that we, we've learned how to um, kind of sound out words, how to spell them, 
and uh, how to sound out words to read them, I want you to go and look in some of your favorite books for some three-letter words that you might be able to sound out. You might not be able to sound them out all, um, but most of them you can, especially if they have a vowel in the middle. And those, the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Um, so go and ask mom or dad to uh, help you out. Look for some uh, small words to see if you can sound them out. And try that blending where you do the sounds and then you try to get faster with it and faster with it so you can do it. And eventually you'll be able to read those words and write those words without even looking at, um, looking for them in the room or anything like that. So um, keep up the good work. I hope you guys feel better. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great one.